Hi, welcome to the What Would Dom Do Show. My name's Dom, and this is a segment that we run where you guys ask questions about specialty coffee, and I'll do my best to answer them. Today's question comes from Steve, and he's asking, how do I make a killer filter coffee at home? Oh my goodness. <laughs> When I'm at home, I leave nothing to chance. So I brew with the Kalita Wave. And the biggest reason that I like the Kalita Wave is these amazing filters. It has this kind of like cone, I suppose, um, corrugated shape to it. And what that does is it brings all of that coffee all into the center there and it forces a really good sound extraction. It's so simple, there's no mucking about, and I just love it. It's consistently fantastic coffee at home. And when I'm at home, that's what I want. So all you really need are your two favorite mugs, a hand mill grinder, these Paulex work great. I use this on setting number six. A timer isn't um, mandatory, but I like to have it just to see what my total brew times are. Obviously we need the um, Kalita Wave Brewer. We sell these in the stores. They're really, really great. This one is a stainless unit, so it's virtually indestructible. I've taken this thing camping, dropped it, you name it, it's still going. And these beautiful range servers, I wouldn't take this camping, I just brew into my mug because it is, uh, I think they call it borsalite glass. So it's really tough, but probably won't take it camping. Our White Horse Coffee scales, paddle and kettle, and obviously we need some fresh roasted white horse coffee. Today we're gonna to be using our El Veral. So as I've stated before in the past, it's always really important to preheat your cups. So I'm just gonna start by doing that. Now also, what we really need to do at this point is preheat not only the range server, but remove any water taint uh, any, uh, excuse me, paper taint from the filter. And what we're doing also is we're preheating the uh, range server itself. So and what we do by doing that is we create less shock to the coffee and it maintains that temperature and flavor profile. So after that takes a moment to uh, permeate through, we're ready to brew. As I said, I've ground our coffee and today I'm using my personal favorite recipe which is a little bit weaker than normal. It's 15 grams of coffee to 300 grams of water. At this point we always want to settle the bed of coffee in the server. Tearing the scale and starting the timer. What I want to do is only add 30 grams of water. Now at this point, we're going to be agitating the coffee. And what's really great, what I like about the Kalita Wave, is you just get in there and stir it. We don't really worry about uh, north-south motion or an east-west motion, just get that coffee stirred as fast as possible. Get it done. Put the paddle down and we're ready to go. So usually we, I want to wait about 45 seconds and we're currently at 35. Now all I'm doing is incrementally adding the water to the brew in a slow but consistent motion. I'm going to put in as much as the uh, brewer can handle. Right now I'm at 220 grams of brewed water in, into the cone and that's 300. My pouring motion is such that it's slow and steady in a circular motion. Now I can walk off, uh, check the news and in a few moments time my Kalita Wave will be ready to brew, ready to drink, excuse me. Our coffee is now brewed. So it's time to remove the water that we have in our cups for preheating. 
and we're ready to enjoy our coffee. Just remove the brewing cone, always swirl, pour and enjoy. Thanks for watching this episode of What Would Dom Do? Uh, this is what I call a killer filter coffee home brew setup. This is the way I brew on the weekends. Um, all of this stuff is, can be purchased at uh, whitehorsecoffee.com.au uh, from our online store. And also if you wanted to get in contact with us to um, have any more suggestions for any future episodes, um, please contact us via Instagram or Facebook. Thank you again for watching.